question of the day. What is your favorite holiday event in Animal Crossing? Oh, look at him. Oh my god. Oh, I love his little setup. Look, they're just, they're celebrating Thanksgiving with their little dapper hats and... Oh, oh man, look at Apollo. He, he looks awesome. <laughs> Oh man, oh, I'm so ready to jump in. Oh, I cannot wait to play this. We're hosting a Turkey Day event from now until midnight to celebrate the fall harvest. We've invited a world-class chef to cook for us in the plaza. I hope you can all join in on the fun. Oh, I will, Isabel. No problems with that. I actually was going to record this a few days ago to have it ready for Thanksgiving Day, but Nintendo, which by the way, this came from Pam Chambro, he told me all about that, uh, Nintendo decided to lock it until literally Thanksgiving. So I'm playing this on Thanksgiving, and I can't stream it because I don't have the tech for that. Uh, so enjoy it two days later. <laughs> I hope you do. Anyway, let's just get started, right? Oh, I'm kind of uh, not dressed for the occasion. Marshmallow power! Aha! And yes, I just learned that you can put custom designs on, like, your magic wands or whatever. I just learned that. I thought you couldn't do that. But anyway, oh, look at everyone. They're so happy. All right, Raymond. What do you got to say? What do you got to say, Raymond? Bonjour, Nodine. I've been brushing up on my span. Oh, so you literally say, uh, same thing. What about you, Deirdre? You look very festive Deirdre, my favorite dear girl, dearling. Okay. Uh, oh, I just want to talk to everyone. I, man, I love how they're all out. Um, it, it does feel weird because I see Lyman over there, and I'm just like, yeah, he's uh, he's not part of my island. He's just visiting, I think. Okay. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Carmen should be here now. Yes, yes. The only one is Lyman. That's kind of like the odd one out. Okay. Moving on. Oh, there he is. There's there's uh there's Franklin. Can I say hi to Franklin? Can I say? Oh, he won't say. Really? You won't you won't say hi to me? Okay, whatever. What do you got to say for me, Franklin? Are you one of the locals here? I'm Franklin, Professor Chief. Oh, okay, that's kind of weird voice sorry I'm Franklin professional chief extraordinary nuke Inc hired me to come and cook for everyone see turkey day is about celebrating the harvest by preparing a feast with all those fresh ingredients and no one knows feasting like turkeys which is why they called in a professional gobble gook oh man uh, I love that you said that because I actually was gonna say that just a like gobble gook <laughs> Well, I say that, but right now it's what those of us in my line of work would call a conceptual feast. Oh man, those are my favorite. Make no mistake, I brought with me everything I need to whip up a positively gobblicious clam chowder. Oh, clam chowder? Okay. Like, what about like a pumpkin pie or anything else? Okay, I guess he needs manila clams. All right, well, I'm gonna go do your job for you. Uh, I feel like I need to put on a festive hat for this. Oh God, okay, great. Uh, my neighbor has started playing festive mu- oh my god, I just can't escape that. Oh my god. Yeah, he's playing some, uh, music because it's Thanksgiving. Oh, and you know, I waited all day to just the right time to figure out when to record this, but I guess people will just be people, right? Oh, jeez, I actually have a lot in my inventory. What was going on there? Wait, I can't change my clothes while I'm transform- Never mind. No fun for me. It's okay, people. I'm not salty. I'm just very upset. Ooh, a DIY. Oh, I should probably get that first. Is this a manila clam? Is this a- Yay! Okay, good, good. These- Yeah, this is the stuff you make fish bait with. I was kind of scared I would have to go out in the middle of the ocean and get some clams for good old Franklin. Uh, what does the DIY give me, actually? Let's see. What, what, what do you have to say? Uh, I never read those. I should. Oh, I, it's a bamboo basket. Ah, <sighs> you get to the age where life stops giving you things and starts taking them away. I mean, I guess DIYs don't really take anything away, but they certainly don't give anything. Let's see. Uh, we got some mushrooms. We got some... There's one! Manila clab! Oh, manila clab. <laughs> that's not, that's not the word. And moving, 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 moving. We gotta find those manila clams. Gotta find them. Gotta find, find, find. Gimme, gimme. Oh, hey. Oh, missed. Missed it. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Oh, man. Animal Crossing. I certainly do miss this game. It feels weird because it feels like nowadays I kind of play this game in kind of like little periods of time, but like not, I never really play it for like too long. It's like I come in, check it, check out the event or whatever update they did, and then I leave. <laughs> I need, but I, I haven't been playing as like consistently with it. Oh man, I'm so glad I grew this like pumpkin patch for uh, uh, Halloween here because it fits like a glove, and honestly, all this stuff does except for this haunted uh, pumpkin here. But you know, headcanon that it's not 
haunted. It's just a regular pumpkin cabin thing. Okay, what a, wh what do you need? What do you need? Everyone must be salivating to get a taste of my cooking. I'd love to start in some clam chowder, and I would if only I had a digger to fetch me three fresh manila clams. I do it myself, but these are chef's hands. Without an assistant digger, I despair of getting my ingredients. Well, you can have these. What? Did you bring my ingredients? Yes, I did. Take these manila clams from me. Take them. Well, what do you know? Fresh manila clams from this very island. These are some beauties. I'll make the finest clam chowder you've ever had with these magnificent mollusks. <sighs> Can you make like some mac and cheese, man? I would go for some mac and cheese right now. Right now I've got everything I need, so... Oh, let's get cooking! Oh, is he gonna do like a little animation? Is he gonna do it? Is he... Oh, <gasps> there's a little animation! Oh! Oh, look at him! They're so happy! Oh, everyone's so happy making stuff. But that's it, though? Only clam chowder? Oh, maybe there's multiple meals. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. That's exactly what's going on. At least I think. Folks tend to underrate soup, but they should think twice. Some nice, fresh manila clams can really satisfy. I don't want to soup. Soup is amazing. I present you with a turkey day rug. Oh, a rug? Don't you have any furniture, man? I'll say this. For an amateur, you've got a real eye for ingredients. Next to my menu, I plan to cook up a pumpkin pie. Ooh, yeah! Oh, yeah, I was going to hire a gopher to pet fetch some ingredients, but he didn't show. So how would you like to be my gopher? Wait, wait a minute. I was going to hire a gopher to fetch ingredients, would you like to be my gopher? But gopher is spelled, I, it's spelled wrong, I think? G-O-E-G-G-O-F-E-R? Why is it spelled, is that, are you making a pun? Is this something I don't know? <sighs> Let me look it up. Okay, gopher, a person who runs errands, especially on a movie set or in an office. I should know that because I was a legitimate gopher <laughs> like a few years ago. Oh, okay, go for the animal. Okay, okay, so he is making a pun. I was going to hire a gopher animal to fetch ingredients. Would you like to be my gopher? Okay, I get your game, Franklin, thinking I don't know Animal Crossing. Even though I had to look that up, so I guess I don't know Animal Crossing. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Apollo. You've been clapping for like seven years now. I'll, I'll move on with this. I really appreciate this. Even a brilliant chef is nothing without an eager assistant. Let's make this a red letter turkey day. Red letter turkey day? I'll need an orange pumpkin and a green pumpkin. Once it's stirred in, it'll make for the best pumpkin pie this island has ever seen. Oh, but why does it have to be so far away? Okay, I guess the joke doesn't actually work here because the pumpkins are literally right here. Okay, I'm just gonna grab these and uh, move on with that. Move on with that. Move on with that. I'm gonna give him the good old pumpkins now. Oh, look at him. I like how he's actually cooking. And you stop right when I get here. Do I have to go away? Do I have to let you focus? Maybe I'll peek behind this corner here. Maybe I'll peek behind this corner. Okay, I think he's starting to cook again. Come on, put that ladle in that soup. Do it for me. Do it. Okay, he's not going to do it. I'm sad about that. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, it looks like he's making macaroni and cheese too, just for me. And he's putting in pepper just for me. Oh, you're so nice, Franklin. I'm sorry I called you gobbles or want to call you gobbles. Our next dish will be a pumpkin pie absolutely stuffed with pumpkin. Well, gee, I hope so. Here you go. Orange pumpkin and green pumpkin. Enjoy, Franklin, my friend. Oh, the green pumpkin. Reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work all that much smoother. Now then, I've got everything I need, so, uh, skadoodle. Yay, let's cook! Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm joining in on it this time. I'm the chef. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, you guys are gonna have a great turkey day. Thanksgiving copyright. Mm -mm -mm, that creamy roasted pumpkin pureed with seeds. Mm -mm -mm, quintessential pumpkin pie. Few chefs could have brought out that flavor so well, but the raw ingredients were all you. Uh, okay, so you're gonna give me a turkey day wall. Oh man, I can't wait to see all these in my place. For our next dish, we'll make a hearty seafood gratin. Gratin? How do you say that? The key ingredients here are skinny mushroom as well as a muzzle. Oh. Uh, mus muscle. That, it, uh, I mean, I think that you find that in the sea, right? I hope you don't, but I think you do. <laughs> oh boy. Well, okay, let's just go get the uh, mushroom first. Well, maybe it's a type of mushroom and I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. There's flat mushroom, round mushroom, skinny mushroom. Yeah, I don't think. Okay. Take the skinny mushroom for now. Oh, or, or not. Never mind. I don't have a swimming outfit. I thought I did. What on earth? Why? Why? Oh, well, I think Timmy and Tommy are working. They are essential workers after all. Give me the swimsuit. I'm taking it. Okay, let's put this on and go get a muscle. <laughs> oh, I should probably take off my socks and shoes, but I won't. <sighs> let's go find us a muscle. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, I hate. I. Oh, diving, diving. Oh, diving. Oh, diving. 
Is it Y? Y when I got one? Okay, great! And I got an acorn barnacle. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. And, uh... Nope. Nada. And negatory. Alright, I'm starting to lose hope that I'm gonna find a muscle out here. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Come on, please be a muscle. Please. 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 Gimme. Oh, a sea anemone. Sea anemone. Please be a muscle. Please. Hello there. What? A scallop. Oh, hey, wait a minute. You're- I hope you don't- Oh, okay, hi. Hi, Pascal. This is the first time I've ever gotten you. Hey, man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Uh, sure, it's not a muscle. Can you give me a muscle in exchange? Thanks for your generosity. <laughs> Since you were cool about the scallop, I left you a cool recipe in return. Oh, great. Does it allow me to make a muscle? If you want to get ahead in life, you gotta pick a direction first, man. Well, thanks for those words. I will heed them as I look for my muscle. I'll spend as much time as I can to find this muscle. I will. I will. Oh, 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 I found the muscle immediately. Okay. <laughs> I was getting ready to do a whole montage of that. Gobble man, I got you your muscle. But first. Oh, I thought it would pop into it, but I guess that's when you take it off. Our next dish will be a gratin. I don't even know what that is, but here, just have it anyway. Oh, it's that. I hope you guys enjoy. I've never tried it myself. Also, God, it just doesn't stop. <laughs> First it was music, and now wind is like battering against my studio up out here. Oh my God. I'm also living with the anxiety that they could cut the power at any moment, so that's fun. Anyway, my gratin is filled with the freshest of fresh seafood. It will be the talk of the town. Ha <laughs> ha, my town. This town. This island. You're proving yourself when it comes to uh, getting ingredients. Anyway, have this turkey day flooring. I feel like you just gave me that. Oh no, you gave me a turkey day wall. You gave me a turkey day rug, wall, and now the flooring. Let's see. Yes, it's time to tackle the final dish. Only the best for our main course. Mac and cheese. Mashed potatoes. None other than a grand fish. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I, okay, it was supposed to be turkey. Yeah, duh. That, wow. Okay. I understand it's turkey day, but you wouldn't believe the way they choose to celebrate in some places. Eh. Uh, that's, uh, it's kind of sad, actually. Anyway, we'll need sea bass and olive flounder, I think. I'll prove that a fish featuring both of them is inarguably the proper dish for the occasion. <laughs> this is the final dish. Stick with me and we'll feast like kings. I just forgot what you told me to get. Tell me to get it again. <laughs> fish. Main ingredients is sea bass and olive flounder. Oh my god, wait a minute. Sea bass and olive flounder. Oh, okay, wait, no. I, I gave my bugs to Flick, but I didn't give the fish to CJ, I believe. So maybe I have them, hopefully, please. Okay, come on, give me, give me. Where, where, where is it? Where are these fishies? We got black bass, but I think he just wants sea bass, right? Sea bass, sea bass, sea bass, sea bass, sea bass. Oh, it's not in alphabetical order. Maybe I should... Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> that was easy. Yay, I got a sea bass. Okay, cool. They're not hard to get. I know. I guess the real uh, test is going to be the olive flounder, which I have! Oh my god! Keep your fish, everyone. You never know when it's going to come in handy. Oh man, yes. I'm so happy I didn't actually have to go out and catch fish for that. Awesome. Mr. Gobbledygook, I got your, uh, got your thing here, Gobbles. Your name should be Gobbles. Sea bass and all flounder. Here you go, Gobbles. It's okay, these fish are not sentient. Cook them. Nice, reliable assistance. Now then, I've got everything I need, so, uh, scram. Vamoose, you little varmint. I don't know why I always think he's just gonna tell me to scram when he's just like, yeah, let's get cooking. Oh, look at it. It looks like a fish. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, it's got lemons in there. My favorite. Honestly, this entire Thanksgiving looks like stuff I don't like except for the pumpkin pie, maybe. We've done it. We've used two splendid fish to create a fish worthy of a main course. I couldn't have worked my magic without the ingredients you found. We make a complimentary pairing. Gobble gook. I got, uh, gobble, gobble gob. Yes. We got through the entire four course menu I planned for today. I owe much of that to you. In all honesty, I'm deeply thankful for your help today. Aww. Oh, hey. I wonder what would happen if we went off recipe with a few of the ingredients. Ooh. Yeah, wait a minute. Bring me any ingredients you think might work. They, if they improve my recipes, well, I won't credit you, but I will offer you a small reward. Whoa, I can cook more food? What should I make for him? Macaroni and cheese? Why didn't you guys just say so? Oh my god, wait a minute, but there's no cheese. Okay, fine. I'm gonna give him fruit! Hmm, 
No, nothing you're carrying is firing my imagination. What did you just say? You won't take my fruit? <laughs> Special thanks to my top tier patrons Terror XD, Lady Kitty, Bumblebutt, and Trico Simp.